My name is Dominique Normand. I'm a Canadian painter. I spent uh, the last uh, five years in um, Bay Saint Paul, in the region of Charlevoix, and this is where I got my inspiration for this uh, last series of paintings that was called Low Tide. It was presented at the Wall Space Gallery in 2021 and uh, it was a good successful show. A year ago my partner and I decided to make a big move. So we were looking for a place to grow food year-round and walk barefoot <laughs> year-round and we looked into a few countries and um, following our hearts um, this is where we ended up. So Vilcabamba, this is where we are located. Uh, it's in the south of Ecuador, not too far from Peru. And it's a beautiful valley. It has the reputation, let's say, uh, of being a valley, one of these blue zones on the planet, where people have lived longer than other regions in the world. And due to the weather, the quality of the water, the quality of the air, and the, the way people live, you know, you're always in action, slow action, but always moving and eating healthy. So this is one of the reasons, some of these reasons uh, attracted us to Ecuador. Since I've been here, um, after collecting some vegetal materials, some minerals, some beautiful pigments, I have uh, started working just recently <laughs> um, with collage and uh, monoprint, which is something I did many years ago when I started painting. And I just love the way it's a fresh approach to creating. It's uh, spontaneous, it requires a lot of intuition and you just play and this is what I want to do from now on I just want to play <laughs> so here in Ecuador um, the landscape nature the vegetation is so different um, it, it has a special effect on my um, creativity <laughs> Let's say that it, uh, it is destabilizing, um, but wow, it's so inspiring. Like there's, uh, the vegetation is so lush here in the valley. Um, everything is green and the plants being different have different patterns. And this is, I find this fascinating that the plants themselves, the seeds and the leaves and the, the bark of the tree have um, these very strong graphic patterns that I love and that remind me of my travels in uh, Australia. Uh, so the time that I have been here um, has been for me just a, a time of transition where I've been, you know, collecting uh, with my eyes and my nose and touching uh, all these graphic patterns and shapes and scents and perfumes and the sound of birds. So it's integrating these uh, new, this new environment, the new territory and collecting them. Um, I've been, you know, collecting some samples and doing some little sketches and seeing, you know, how can I integrate that? Because this, this is my way of connection, uh, as always, with nature first. Nature is really the, the door, the portal for me to connect with my art. So this is where I'm at. And what is fascinating is that there are some amazing pigments that you can collect and use as a painter. I, we've, been, we've been using them to, uh, to fix the adobe walls on the house. But, you know, looking for these pigments, for this uh, clay in the mountains, uh, I found the yellow one, I found the red ochre, red ochre and the yellow ochre. But there's other pigments that you can find and this is fascinating. 
In uh, this beautiful place where we are, uh, we had plans to uh, invite people, artists, or people who want to come and be inspired by this beautiful, the surroundings, uh, the valley, the, the magnificent uh, village that is here, um, where you find people who are health-oriented, uh, art-oriented, and who really enjoy also working on the land and, um, you know, permaculture. So there's a bunch of uh, inspiring people to meet. But we also have um, facilities to um, host either uh, art residencies. So we're working on preparing that. We have a beautiful little casita, a little house to welcome, let's say, an artist or two who want to uh, come and work for a month or a few weeks, or just somebody, someone who wants to, uh, you know, uh, travel a little bit around uh, Vilcabamba. We also have a big room uh, with lots of windows, a view on the valley that can host uh, workshops. So I'm ready to. Uh, to welcome artists who want to learn some techniques, the ones that I have been basically experimenting uh, with for the, the past years. And uh, it will be my pleasure to, uh, to welcome artists who uh, want to be inspired too.